Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be diving into a comprehensive overview of rheumatic fever. This presentation aims to provide a clear understanding of this condition, covering its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment strategies. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge necessary to effectively recognize, manage, and ultimately prevent rheumatic fever. Let's begin our journey into understanding this important health concern. Rheumatic fever is an inflammatory disease that can develop as a complication of inadequately treated strep throat or scarlet fever. It's crucial to understand that this condition arises from the body's response to a bacterial infection, specifically group A streptococcus. When these infections are not properly addressed, they can trigger a cascade of events leading to rheumatic fever. Recognizing this connection is the first step in preventing this potentially serious illness. The primary cause of rheumatic fever is an untreated or poorly treated group A strep infection. However, certain risk factors increase the likelihood of developing the disease. These include age, with children between 5 and 15 being most susceptible. Crowded living conditions and poor access to health care also contribute to the risk. Finally, a family history of rheumatic fever can predispose individuals to the condition. Being aware of these factors allows for targeted prevention efforts. The pathophysiology of rheumatic fever centers around an autoimmune response. Following a strep infection, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues. This misdirected immune response primarily affects the heart, particularly the heart valves, as well as the joints, skin, and even the brain. Understanding this autoimmune mechanism is key to comprehending the diverse range of symptoms and potential complications associated with rheumatic fever. The signs and symptoms of rheumatic fever can be categorized as major and minor. Major symptoms include fever, painful swollen joints, chest pain, fatigue, a characteristic skin rash known as erythema marginatum and uncontrolled movements called Sydenham chorea. Minor symptoms may include nosebleeds, abdominal pain, and weight loss. Recognizing both major and minor symptoms is essential for early detection and prompt intervention. The Jones criteria are a standardized set of guidelines used to diagnose acute rheumatic fever. These criteria are divided into major and minor manifestations. Major criteria include carditis, polyarthritis, chorea, erythema marginatum, and subcutaneous nodules. Minor criteria include fever, arthralgia, elevated ESR, CRP, and a prolonged PR interval on an ECG. A diagnosis of rheumatic fever typically requires the presence of two major criteria or one major and two minor criteria, along with evidence of a preceding strep infection. Several diagnostic tests are crucial in confirming a diagnosis of rheumatic fever. These include a throat culture or rapid strep test to detect the presence of group A streptococcus. An ASO titer measures antibodies against streptococcal antigens. An ECG helps assess heart function, while an echocardiogram provides detailed images of the heart. Blood tests, such as ESR and CRP, indicate inflammation in the body. These tests, used in conjunction with the Jones criteria, provide a comprehensive assessment for rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever can lead to several serious complications if left untreated or poorly managed. The most significant complication is rheumatic heart disease, which can cause permanent damage to the heart valves. Other potential complications include heart failure, atrial fibrillation, and even stroke. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment are essential to minimize the risk of these debilitating complications. Treatment for rheumatic fever focuses on eradicating the underlying strep infection and managing inflammation. Antibiotics, 
particularly penicillin, are used to eliminate the bacteria. Anti-inflammatory medications, such as aspirin or corticosteroids, help reduce inflammation and alleviate symptoms. Anticonvulsants may be prescribed to manage chorea. Bed rest is often recommended during the acute phase. Long-term antibiotic prophylaxis is crucial to prevent recurrent strep infections and further heart damage. Prevention is paramount in combating rheumatic fever. Prompt and complete treatment of strep throat infections is the most effective preventive measure. Ensuring patients complete the full course of antibiotics is crucial. Educating individuals about the early symptoms of strep throat and rheumatic fever is also essential. Routine follow-up appointments are necessary to monitor for any signs of recurrence or complications. Nurses play a vital role in the care and management of patients with rheumatic fever. This includes closely monitoring vital signs and cardiac status to detect any changes or complications. Providing comfort measures such as pain relief and emotional support is essential. Encouraging medication adherence is crucial for effective treatment and prevention of recurrence. Educating the patient and family about the disease, its management, and preventive measures is paramount. Scheduling regular follow-up appointments ensures ongoing monitoring and timely intervention. In summary, rheumatic fever is a preventable disease. Early detection is crucial to minimize the risk of long-term complications. Nurses play a key role in the management and education of patients and families affected by this condition. By working together, we can significantly reduce the burden of rheumatic fever and improve the health outcomes of those at risk. Thank you.